Veterinarians and physicians at the University of California are teaming up to develop better cancer treatments for both pets and people. Here at UC Davis, they're looking at novel therapies to treat lymphoma. Lymphoma is by far the most common cancer that we treat in dogs, um, and it's a non-Hodgkin's form, which is also a devastating disease in people. And so I think not only is it, is it a convenient cancer to study looking at the comparative aspects because of the similarities between species, but also how common it is, both in the dog and the human. So right now we're standing in the oncology treatment room at the Center for Comparative Animal Health. That's one of the main uh, buildings within the veterinary teaching hospital here at UC Davis. We uh, are doing physical exams on patients here. We're administering treatments, chemotherapy treatments, doing some minor biopsy procedures. We're trying to figure out the basic mechanisms of disease and how lymphoma works so that we can then come up with rational targets so that we can come up with less toxic types of therapies than we use traditionally with, let's say, chemotherapy. There are more lymphoma cases in the dogs than in humans. So you get to break them down, you get the molecular analysis, and since there are more dogs, it's like you're quickening the clinical trial. Can we come up with a better way of getting this information? And one of those ways, we think, is uh, by interacting with the vet school. We have funding from the National Canine Cancer Foundation to work on a nanoparticle that will coat the chemotherapy, coat um, a traditional drug like doxorubicin, and we actually already worked with a drug called Taxol, and in order to see if coating it can make it less toxic and more effective. Now, this also reaches over to the human side, and so we have uh, this kind of crossover that's really important. We've done a lot of work in the past year, um, particularly um, some of the other faculty, like Dr. Chen, have published some major work that has come out. So my primary research is on uh, P53, which is a tumor suppressor. So it's a very interesting protein. So when the protein is lost, both in human and animal, then uh, uh, the host will be develop tumor almost 100%. So that's happened to be the case also in dog. We have actually have one of the uh, projects which we are ongoing. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's the protein we identify called RMPC1 which actually repress P53 expression in both mice, human, and also in, in dog. So what we like to do is to design a molecule to get rid of this particular protein, then we can activate P53. Theoretically, we can uh, kill in the cancer cell. I think the real message is we have to come together and do team science based upon individual excellence. So we don't give up one or the other, but we have to quicken the pace. You know, we're all mammals. We share similar diseases, including cancer. And the idea that, you know, if you can make advances in one, you make advances in the other. Reporting from UC Davis, I'm Larissa Brannan.